One of the biggest debates in football is whether there is a difference between inside zone and duo. Before we even get started, let me know in the comments down below where you stand on the debate, and we're going to talk about the differences as I see them between inside zone and duo. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about duo first, then inside zone. I'm going to give you the coaching points for each. We're going to see them play out on film, and then we can decide whether they are the same play or different. So this is from the Rams Super Bowl winning season. They absolutely abuse the Texans with duo. We see it from a tight bunch here with the Z coming in just a little bit to get a better kick out block there. But we're going to get the Z kicking out the edge defender. We're going to get the F receiver blocking on the outside linebacker. We've got a deuce combo on the 6I to the play side linebacker. A deuce combo on the 2I to the back side linebacker. And then we are two for two away. So one of the things with duo is these are down block. These are gap scheme double teams that I call deuce blocks. They are in a different direction than the running back. So one of the key things for me with zone and duo is zone blocking takes the running back in the direction of the offensive lineman. Duo is similar to gap scheme where the running back is going in the opposite direction of most of the offensive lineman's blocks. On duo, the running back is reading the play side linebacker. If the play side linebacker fills, then the running back is going to bounce it out wide. If the play side linebacker scrapes over the top, then the running back is going to cram it up the middle. He's not looking at any defensive lineman. All he's looking at is the play side linebacker. Here the play side linebacker steps up. Ball bounces outside for a nice gain. Play number two here from a more traditional 11 personnel set. Stack on the two receivers, but overall just regular 11 personnel. Going to get another deuce on the 6I to the play side linebacker. This is who the running back is reading. Another deuce on the 2I to the back side linebacker. Two for two, back side again. So the running back again looking at the play side linebacker. He steps out, so it crams up the middle. Back to a tight bunch. Here we can see this one's going to bounce. We'll see why on the end zone copy. So one of the things that the Texans adjusted to to take away those deuce combos was similar to what Belichick did in the Super Bowl against the Rams back in 2019, and that was just bring everybody onto the line of scrimmage. We don't have enough space to get two-on-ones. Everybody's just got the man in their gap, but that's not great against duo because the running back is running against the grain of the offensive lineman. What happens here is the play side linebacker has already stepped up into the gap. So the running back should have a pretty good indication pre-snap that this ball is going to bounce. And then the corner, who is the force defender here with everybody pulled in so tight, really squeezes inside with cup and takes away the edge. Back to the 11 personnel formation here. We're going to see the running back cram it up. So we are six for six in the box here. We've got our deuce blocks again on the six eye, and this has now really come into a one. Then two for two on the back side. Going to get a receiver scooping out, strong safety filling down back here. So we saw on the press box view that this ball gets crammed up in the middle. We should be watching 41 right here to see what he does. He's going to scrape over the top. So the running back just ducks his head and gets what he can. Still six yards. So duo for me is an old school run. We are coming straight downhill at you. We are going to be stronger than you. We're going to be meaner than you. We're going to be more physical than you. We're going to blow you off the ball. And there's not going to be anything that you can do about it. So here we've got the same run fit that we've been seeing. We're watching the play side linebacker here to see what he does. He steps up inside just ever so slightly, just long enough for the deuce block to get to him. That's all the time we need for the running back to bounce it out. All right, moving on to inside zone. We're going to see some of the differences here. This is my favorite inside zone run of all time, and we'll see why when we get to the end zone copy. So 
So this is how it's getting blocked up. You can see I've got one and two here. Some of the differences with inside zone, I've already mentioned one, and that's that the running back and the offensive lineman are initially working in the same direction. So all the offensive linemen here are going to be stepping to the right. The running back's initial track is to the right. But one of the differences between inside zone and duo is that on inside zone, as opposed to reading the play side linebacker, the running back is reading defensive lineman. Now, inside zone for Shanahan is a counter to his outside or wide zone. And on wide zone, the running back is reading the play side defensive end first, and then every down lineman thereafter as he needs to before he finds his cut. On inside zone, he's reading the first down defender, play side of the center, and moving back from there. So the nose here is shaded to the play side. He's going to be the first read of the running back. If the running back can't get outside of his first read, then he's going to cut it back and look for his second read. If he can't cut it between the two, then it's going to bounce all the way back. And this is different than Duo, where he read the linebacker and either crammed it or bounced it outside. This one has an option to cut all the way back because we're running in the same direction as the offensive line instead of against the grain that you would in Duo. So the running back on wide zone is supposed to know where he's going on his third step, making his cut on his fifth, and on inside zone, he's going to make his cut on his third step. So he can see right now we're getting the block really fought by the one, by the shade. So he knows he's going to come back to his second read. We can see his eyes starting to dart, definitely not getting inside the gap right here. So we know right now, this ball's cutting all the way back, get the cut blocked by the fullback, get the seal out blocked by the tight end, and it's off to the races. Later on in the same game, we've got another inside zone here. Exact same run scheme. And just like last time, we don't have anybody for the middle linebacker. He ends up just getting caught in the wash of the zone blocking. So right now, we know that we are not getting play side because the defensive tackle has fought it. And then we know we're not getting inside them as well. This defensive tackle has also cut the ball off, so we know that we are bouncing back, duck that head down, and get five yards. So all three of these runs have actually been the same run scheme. The initial track of the running back is weak. The fullback is coming to sift the backside defensive end. And the tight end is looping back to take care of the backside force defender. So looking at our reads now, we know that we are not getting outside of this defensive tackle. No, we're not getting outside of this defensive tackle. So we are bouncing back again. looking at two final plays here one duo one inside zone from the gun just so we can see some differences between the two when we're not under center now duo from the gun in my opinion is much better as a same side play because you get downhill a little bit quicker same side or in the pistol so one of the things that i like about this is it's going to really confuse the middle linebacker here it initially looks like it's going to be mid zone so he's overflowing same side run ends up being able to read the strong safety that's rolled down. He comes in to take away that gap that the running back's pressing right now. Quick little bounce is all we need for the touchdown. Now we're looking at inside zone from the gun. Last play here. Still can see a couple differences. So last play, again it was duo, the running back was running in an opposite direction of the offensive line. This time he's running in the same direction as the offensive line. Going to get a combo by the tight end and play side tackle, by the play side guard in the center, backside guard, backside tackle, then we are man for man, 
the backside tight end and the backside wing. So notice they're all stepping together. If it was duo, he'd be taking this ball and cutting it back right now. So here the running back is going to press in the same direction as his offensive lineman. Everybody's moving to the right. The backside defensive tackle has cut this run off. So we're going to get it cut up behind the tight end and the wing. And this is going to be a nice eight yard gain. Quick recap of the differences here. So this is duo running backs running left. Offensive line is responsible for their gap to the right. And then they're building their deuce combos off of that. Running back is looking at the play side linebacker. If the play side linebacker steps up and fills the gap, running back is going to bounce outside. If the play side linebacker scrapes over the top, running back is going to stick his foot in the ground, cram it for whatever he can get. One of the differences with duo that we haven't mentioned yet is that it is not zone blocking. You're, you're responsible for your backside gap, but if that's not where your first threat is and you have a deuce block, then you are stepping right at him first. Look at number 70, the left tackle here. If it was inside zone to the right, he'd be stepping with his right foot first. But because it's duo to the left, he's stepping with his left foot at his target. Another key differentiation there with how the deuce blocks are different than a combo on a zone play. And then looking at inside zone here, we're running inside zone to the right, the running back and the offensive line are moving in the same direction. The offensive line, everybody is stepping right on their first step. Everybody's stepping right. Even if you're working to somebody in your backside gap like the left guard here, he's still stepping right even though he's responsible for helping to cut off the three. Whereas if this was duo, we saw in the last play, he should be stepping with his left foot straight to the defensive lineman. Running back, instead of reading the play side linebacker, is reading the first down defender play side of the center first, and then the next backside defender after that. He's looking for his first open window, and if that means he has to cut it all the way back behind the entire offensive line, that's what he does. And I think that's sometimes where duo can get confused is because sometimes the cut back on inside zone looks like a bounce read on duo, but how you get there is two very different things. So to me, they are different plays, duo and inside zone. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps tell YouTube that you think more coaches need to be watching it. You giving it that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And if you want to talk more about duo, one of the best formations to run it out of is the tight bunch. You can learn more about that in this next video.